Bobby Moore, in footballing terms, is a genius. The words are those of one of Britain's top managers, and he was referring not only to Bobby's defensive qualities, but also to his ability to detach himself from a game, observe, exploit, and correct on behalf of his team. Bobby's part in this big match is enormous, and he's our studio guest today. He will see, as you will see, an exhilarating attacking game. Jeff Hurst, with all his courage and his power, you can't help noticing him. And certainly the same goes for his England teammate, Martin Peters, drifting in as dangerously as ever he does. Peters, Hurst and Moore provide West Ham with class and invention the length of the field. This weekend, they're without the injured John Sissons. Trevor Hartley takes his place at number 11. But West Ham find themselves facing a Rangers team that refuses to be overshadowed. They'd surprised us by bringing in Ron Springett back into goal in place of Mike Kelly. But it says much for Rangers' performance that Ferguson in the other goal is kept just as busy as Springett. This is a Rangers team that today stands at the bottom of the first division. Yet to watch them here suggests that they are skillful and determined enough to climb to safety in the critical months to come. Stevenson to Moore, ever composed and a good pass to Brooking. Hurst is racing on ahead, here's Hurst. And now to Redknapp. Hurst! Closing in so very dangerously indeed to that short one to the near post from Redknapp. Good play by Redknapp and dangerous work by Hurst. Bobby Moore. Bonds, and here's another one aimed at Hurst, and he's getting to it, oh, game so very close, and Springett was a little slow across his line to get that header from Jeff Hurst, but it was just a fraction wide, so in an inkling we've seen the power of West Ham in attack. Stevenson, that's a clever, cool piece of play by Hazel, and on a bad ball, a very good one indeed to Bridges, and it's a good From Moore, looking ahead of him, Bobby Moore, beautiful shot by Moore, just wide. Peters to Brookie. Now Bobby Moore. They've got to go for Moore soon. A shot down. Certainly Hurst was being unfairly held by Hunt, there's Hurst. But it's a corner to West Ham. Brooking. And Peters! It's down! Brooking shielding that ball well from the challenge of Hunt. But a free kick to West Ham. Bobby Moore to take it. And Hurst waiting to sprint in there. Beautiful goal by Hurst. What a magnificent combination again by West Ham. The quickly taken free kick by Moore, low and to the near post. And Hurst was moving before Moore had taken the kick. Peters, oh, good play by Peters and good running by Moore. Redknapp outside him, this is Brooking, and Hurst completely unmarked. Oh, and he missed it. And he's as puzzled as we are, I'm quite sure, Jeff Hurst. Good challenging there by Bridges and a good pass up the wing here for Wilkes. Morgan's waiting in the middle as Morgan is also late. A beautiful goal. There's Allen to Morgan. 
Morgan's playing well this afternoon, and here's a good position by Keane. He's got a shot, and he very nearly fooled Ferguson. Mike Keane. This game really is wide open now because Rangers are so full of fight and so full of spirit and this afternoon full of very promising football as well. It's a good shot by Keane! A magnificent goal by Keane! By uh, Leach! Leach again! Well, I wonder what Ron Greenwood, the West Ham United manager, there he is on the right, sitting there, never shows his emotion, but he must be thinking all sorts of things at the moment, having seen his side give away a two-goal lead. Hurst, to Redner! Oh, what a goal! Oh, what a fantastic goal by Redner! Well, no goalkeeper on earth could stop that one. Well, you could walk a hundred miles and see a hundred games of football and you never see a better goal than that one scored by Harry Radnapp. And as the Sunday Express so aptly puts it this morning, Moore the Mighty fires hammers. Here is Bobby Moore talking with Jimmy Hill. Well, Bob, that was a wonderful match uh, from West Ham's point of view and also Queen's Park Rangers. The fans were delighted. But the big point afterwards, with seven goals from one match in the first division, is against nine from all the rest. Uh, can you afford to play attacking football? Well, I think everybody likes to play attacking football, Jim. They set out to play attacking football, but um, naturally some teams, um, they have to smother attacking ideas. But uh, as, a, as a game for watching yesterday was the ideal thing. Everybody enjoyed it. But I think um, everyone must give due credit to Queen's Park Rangers. They play with wonderful spirit. And uh, from 3-1 down to 3 all, and nearly got a draw at the end. You know, yeah. very well done to them. Well, now, yours was a wonderful goal. Superb, terrific shot. But on the other hand, I have a feeling also that Queen's Park Rangers helped you a little bit. I think it could have been prevented by Queen's Park Rangers. Um, you see John Charles cut out of the ball here. Um, Martin Peters gets uh, possession. There's a good build-up between Trevor Brooking and Trevor Hartley. And Trevor does very well. He brings the ball from a packed left wing right across to the right half position. And you see me with the ball here. No one's coming to me. I've got no alternative but to carry in the end. I'm in a shooting position. And thank goodness the ball hits the net. It's on target. But I think if someone had to come earlier to me, 10, 15 yards earlier, I'd have probably played the ball out wide yeah. to Harry Redknapp on the right wing. But the last goal you deserved, I think, because you capitalised on everybody running to the near post for crosses to defend against them. And this was an unusual, an old-fashioned cross which Jeff Hurst put right over the top of everybody. Well, I, I think here, Jimmy, that people are expecting West Ham to score so many goals at the near post now whenever we get build-ups like this everybody um, tries to cut out the near post and here you see Jeff he cuts the ball right back to the far post and Harry's completely free to well he hammered home a great shot yeah. really fabulous goal you've probably noticed that Harry Redknapp started that move with the ball to Jeff Hurst and then made up a lot of ground I, to I get think on Harry showed a great deal of determination he started the uh, move in midfield gave the ball to Jeff and as I say he must have covered 25 to 30 yards after playing the ball to Jeff to get to the back of the defence to put it in the net yeah. I yeah. think it was a wonderful goal that fabulous goal well it was and it just you know, finished a, a, a marvellous game which had everybody you know, who was there just on their toes from start to finish thank you very much indeed yes indeed